think it equals sculpture in my life. It was a, it was dedicated to it, dedicated in, in a, as much as you can dedicate to anything. Well, she's a remarkable person. She is a sculptor. She also paints. She writes poetry. She's well into her 80s now, not in her 90s, and she's still working. So she's, she's like a lot of Black Mountain people. She hasn't confined herself to one medium. She's really continued to work, you know, for many years. Sculpture, I, I, I made all my pieces by hand, and I worked in the hardest materials. And I think I did maybe three quarters of the work in stone and the rest in uh, wood. And I love both of those uh, mediums. She came as a student from California. She was very young, um, just out of high school, and um, she studied with Albers. She really liked the college. In the summer of 1944, she met Jose de Kraft, who was a sculptor who had come to teach. And she was like 18, and he was like 60-something, and they fell in love and married. They knocked off the stone piece by piece. It was a stroke at a time. You know, so that it was a question of patience and per perseverance and persistence. And I had all those things, and I just went through and carved the rest of my life like that. She's delightful. She's a very strong woman. Um, she's very focused, very determined, very professional. Uh, she is um, very warm, but she's nobody's fool. She's very strong person who has a real sense of herself as a professional.